what you need if you're going to go out sketching with the idea that we're going to move into the studio and onto the canvas. We're going to be using watercolour. So this, this surface is a watercolour paper. It's got a little bit of a tooth. Your paint will react very differently on different surfaces. And so I suggest that you get some watercolour um, sketchbooks as opposed to the cartridge. Although, that said, these little cartridge, these can be quite nice. You'll find that you get a different effect for if you're outside and you want to do something quick, you can be working on a scene and then turn it over and, and do another scene, but they can all join together as well. And you might end up with something that you, you hadn't expected in a different sort of composition. Work in here that's more rectangular in shape. I've used masking tape at the edges, so that's another thing that I usually use. Now I want to talk about palettes. I've got here, these are pans. You can get watercolors in tube form. And you can also make up pans. So you'll get um, a stronger paint sometimes from these pans. Although if you activate your paints, and I'll tell you what that is in a minute, then you do get a very good result. A pan that was empty, because you can just get them empty like this. And what I've done is I've just filled that pan with the tube paint and after overnight it will go hard but you can still reactivate it. And what I mean by that is if we use um, a water spray then we can just, it's actually empty this, but, but we can spray that and reactivate the paint which means that you'll get a much stronger colour from it. These little sets, they're Cotman student quality sets and they come like this and here what I've done is I have prepared my own palette very similar to these so I've tried to include all of these but I've added cadmium orange I've swapped in and put some phthalos in because I particularly like phthalos but that doesn't mean that you need them to go outside that's absolutely fine there was a cobalt spare so I've just slipped that in and um, I've, I've actually got, as well as the burn, burnt umber, I've got raw umber here. So other than that, that's a very, very similar palette to this. But I've just made this up. I thought it was, it's, it's metal and it's quite sweet. It's small, uh, but it still gives you plenty of palette space. This is great because you've actually got a little bit of, you can actually put some water in here. But I would suggest that you take some water pots with you outside. They don't take that much room when they collapse like this. So, and you've got plenty of water to work from. If you want to be really frugal, you can go out sketching simply. This is a water brush. And what happens is you fill up the water in here. And then you would paint with this. This has got a paintbrush, but it's not going to cover a lot of ground because it's only a small paintbrush. And I've got a couple of travel brushes, but equally you don't need travel brushes um, that are a little bit bigger. This is a, a 10. What you want is you want it to all pack up into quite a small thing, uh, either a small little bag. I've got some water to paint with. There's little pockets here, that's also another water pot, if you didn't want to use these. But I do quite like these and they're not that heavy. I'm going to hide, I'm going to slide them in here. There's some tissue instead of kitchen roll, but you can just grab some tissue like this and roll it up and take it out for the day. That's dead simple. Um, so you've got brushes, I've actually got this set. But, you know, you don't have to spend money on, on those. But I've got like a set of brushes there. I do like having a rigger brush, which is one of these brushes. And I'll probably sort out a flat. So, although I've talked about quite a lot of 
it feels like the equipment list is, is really huge. What actually happens is it packs up into a small bundle. You're not, um, in fact, I'll put that in the back there. This can be quite fun, actually. How much can you fit in really nicely? I'm going to find a just one little flat brush. There we go, a little flat brush to take out. Um, so I've now got a rigger. So here, I've got a rigger. I've got a flat brush. I'm taking out those rounds, but normally you'd have put a couple of rounds in there. And and that's 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 loads of brushes, that's probably too many. But you don't particularly need any extra colours to the ones you've got. But sometimes it's just useful to know that you can just slip a couple of colours in. That's fine. I do tend to like taking a little bit of white. And then I'm going to take a couple of pens. So these are permanent so I can do a pen and wash. I also like to have in my kit, this is a non-permanent pen. And this is particularly useful if you're going to go out and you're going to just... Sometimes I'll go out with something like this only and a water brush, put it into my handbag and I can do sketches. In fact, I'll show you. So here is a... This is um, a concertina, as you can see. But as you can see here, all I've had is... A water brush and a a pen that runs so I've drawn and then I've gone in with the um, water brush I've, I think I've actually started this with some ink blobs before I've gone out and I've had to work into it so the the blobs were done before I actually even went outside and just to give you an idea of how little you can take out so that would be that that pen and the water brush um, yeah so although we're thinking about taking quite a few things I'm actually also thinking about how small I can make this oh a pencil I haven't got a pencil but I've got the pens I'll, I'll grab a pencil and I'm going to bring some white pens for acrylic I've ordered some actually masking tape is handy but what i'm going to do with my book is i'm going to mask out in advance so i mask out around oops let me just try and i'll mask out around the edges here and then it makes quite a clean painting and it's quite nice when you unmask it so i'm going to do a little bit of this so i'm going to do that with a few pages and that's it really. So I'm going to say goodbye for now and hopefully this has helped. Any questions put it in the comments or ask me directly and I'll get back to you. Okay bye.